Doing screen recordings is one of the delightfully easiest things to do on your MacBook. So in the upper right corner, you click search and you search QuickTime, QuickTime Player. And then when you open up QuickTime Player, you click on file. And then you have your options to be able to record a movie, which is your selfie cam. So if I click on this, it's so to record yourself. Or you can record audio, just audio, or you can record your screen. So if I click on screen recording, record myself like introducing a handout that the kids have to do today. So I click screen recording. I can specify how big the screen should be. I almost forgot that to record audio, you need to click on options and make sure that your microphone is turned on, otherwise it's silent. You know you can also screen record videos that are playing right off your computer. And then I click the record button to record what I want to say. When I'm done, I go up to the upper corner where there's a little circle and it looks like a record button. I click that to click stop. And the last step is just to click file again and decide where to save it and where to upload it largely, likely through Google Drive and Google Classroom. If you want to do a screen recording and have your video show up on the side, you click on file, click new movie, and then size it and put yourself in the place you want it to be, like right there. And then click on view and click float on top. So that was view, float on top, and then click new screen recording, and now it's recording both. If you plan to upload to YouTube a video that's over 15 minutes, you'll first need to verify your YouTube account likely. So if you Google verify YouTube account and click on the first support Google link, and there's that link here, verify your channel, 